Hello guys and welcome back to another Simple Joe video. Today your boy's back, Simple Joe, yes, I am back with you guys. And today you're probably wondering what I'm going to be doing. Well, it's slightly different. I've done one or two reviews in the past, but today is another review for you. An unboxing of, wait for it, oh yeah, that Casso Action Camera EX7000. Today I'm going to be showing you all the functions on it, what it does, the quality of it, and just telling you a bit more about it if you're interested in getting one, you know. So, before we start, if you're new, make sure you press the red button and be Become a simpleton, you know. Much support, thank you guys. You're amazing. Okay, let's cut the chit chat. Let's go on to reviewing the list product. Let go. So, guys, I'm gonna open that Akaso for you guys to see. So you just open. It's got a screen protector in your first buy. Then obviously you've got action camera itself here. So you just slide out like so. There we go. You can see straight away we've just got the action camera here. Four little buttons you can press. But let's open what else do we have in here. And we open this. Straight away we've got a wrist button so you can put it on your wrist and literally tighten it up and you can control it obviously you've got your core button you've got photos and it all syncs up to the action cam then we've got some screws you get screws with it again a few more little holders so you can put on tripods or holding stuff like because you can get straps and stuff with it Again, we've got another little holder. There's lots of different things you can put on one. You can obviously attach them to your bikes, attach them to helmets, stuff like that. You've got loads of little gimmicks in here. Again, you've got some wrist straps, stuff so it keeps it safe. So if you drop it, it doesn't get broke or anything. Got the wires, obviously, a few more wires to keep it all safe so you can't get steal. Wiper, you've got some twin protectors here. You've got another case in because it can get damaged, especially if you're doing actions and stuff like that. You know, each little knock or anything, it gets broken, it really does, you know. Again, you've got another battery, so that's kind of good. So you've got two spares, it's kind of good with that. Because you always know when one's run out, it's kind of annoying. But some more, you know, more bolts and stuff. Again, another clamp. We've got a lot of clamps going on here. A lot of clamp. Another clamp here. Again, another little holder, so you can attach it to. A few more little nuts and clamps. And then, of course, you've got the instructions. So guys, what I'm going to do now for you, I'm going to get a closer look at this. We're going to show the camera, turn it on, try some things out, and then we're going to take it for a test. Let's do this. So guys, as you can see, we've got the GoPro here. It's a really nice looking action camera. It really is. So it's in this really hard case. The way to take it off, you just pop this open. From it, lift it up. It's really on tight because obviously if it gets damaged or whatever, you don't want it to be, you want it to be protected, right? So this is the main camera. This is what doing all the action. And you can see, you turn the button on here if you want it on. And you can see you've got the ups and down here. You can see that's the screen. You want to, you know, use it for, to put your images onto your computer or anything like that, or video, use these for that. It's really nice looking, there you go, you can see. So it's not got a battery in, so you get the battery in, flip this up, ping, so you can see, Already comes with one battery and you've got one extra. So here's a battery you can see. So pop this in when you want anyway. And then just slide the back front on. There we go. So to turn it on, just hold this down. And you can see it comes on. So it's in no card. So, so it doesn't come with any SD card. But I've got one spare, so I'll pop that in. I can just read some of the instructions quickly. The way we see the menu you use and you can see your photos, videos really quick. Press this power button. Just keep going through it. You can see on here. That's different settings. Not as you can see, settings now. So this is a video, as you can see. Video, this is photo. This is if you want to do rapid shot. This is if you want to do a burst shot. And this obviously takes a few photos at a time. Then obviously you've got settings there. So you can see, you've got video resolution. So if you click on that, you can see the different frames. You can have 10 to in 60 frames, 10 to in 30 frames per second. Don't get why you would have less frames, but okay. And then 4K in 25 frames per second. And 2.7K in 30 frames per second. 720p in 120 frames per second. And then 720p in 60 frames per second. So it's a flipping good camera for quality and it will pick up a log quality stuff. This also was a bargain, it was 60 quid for this. So if you want to get one of these, pick them up, Amazon, you know what to do. It's really good. So you've seen pretty much focus. Put it back in the case so you can see, guys. I keep thinking it's touch screen, it's not touch screen. These are all just different settings you can do. And you've got burst, time lapse, continuous time lapse, power frequency, language, sort of like that. All the power saving, screen saver, format, all this good stuff. And that's how you get off it, just like that. So turn it off, like that. Put it back in the case. Pretty simple to put in the case. You need it in the case, I'll see, because it protects it a lot. Over like that. Hold it. Hold it like that. Push down. There you go. Sorry about the noise, guys. There you go. Quickly, what I'm going to do now is this automatically links up. So you want to take a photo or record. Press this. Starts recording. Brilliant. Press it again. Stops recording. Want to take a photo? Press it. 
takes a photo, Bob Junko, beautiful. There you go. So now I'm going to show you the app that you can get so you can go from your phone to a two. So guys, I've got my phone ready to show you. Also, I do recommend this app, guys. Do you record it? If you want to record stuff on your phone and you want to put it up on YouTube, stuff like that, you know, show that you've got some recording. All you have to do is download the app. And once you've got it, you can literally just press this. Three, two, one. There you go. It starts recording the screen. Simple as. Right, so I want to start connecting to this. So go on I Smart DV, already connected. So turn this on, all that done. There we go, we got this on. Right, so to turn the Wi Fi on, we know you press these two at the same time. Wi Fi is on. So because I'm already connected, all you have to do is do that and connect to the connect to the camera. Then it will ask for password, and all you have to literally do is look in the book and it gives you a password on it. Click that, ready. And then what will happen? You can see everything that's on your phone. So now you're looking, everything you can also see on here, you can see on my screen too, even if it goes off. So put my phone down because you can still see on the screen recording. Boom, boom, boom. So we stop recording. And there you have it. So guys, you can see I've just talked a few functions that will really help you with this Akaso action camera. It will really help you, I promise guys, getting on your phone. So when you, if, say you go go-karting, you've got it on, a quick look on your phone, you can see what it's recording. It just helps. Or if you put it somewhere like, a good instance, if you want to do a prank or something like that, hide in the corner of the room, you've got it on your phone, you can see what's going off. It's really good. And like I said, that app also is a really good app to get. I, I do honestly think it's a good app to get. If you, if you want to record on screen, it's really good. It's really nice and precise is awesome but anyway guys talking about the akaso action camera i'm going to take out into the field i'm going to go to the natural habitat where i live basically the woods we're going to test it test on the different settings see what it's like for you guys and it's going to be a good take on it so let's do this i'm also going to use the mic on this it does have a speaker on this camera too which is here if you want to play it out loud but we're more listening to what it sounds like so i'm just going to record on that as well even talk when we're walking around when you see in the youtube clip that you'll be watching now you'll see the audio and see if you think it's good most of the time the audio isn't always crucial because it's an action camera because you're catching action but it can still come in benefit and i'm going to show you that and see what i think of it too so let's get there i see in the woods let's go so guys i'm doing a commentary over the video that is because on the akaso the audio isn't quite the clearest it's quite quiet and you can't really hear it when you turn everything up you can hear it a little bit but for this anyway the action cam is to capture the action not really the commentary so you can see at the minute i'm just running around testing to a limit in 1080p in 60 frames per second that's what that's what it is in at the minute but that's why i'm doing commentary because obviously the audio isn't the best but i feel like this is also better too because it's a bit clearer than if it did use my gopro anyway to talk because i was vlogging a lot this is slow motion at the minute that you can see too the next clip is in 4k 25 frames per second and this is a bit slower, um, as you can see, because it is 25 frames per second and it is really high quality. So it might be a bit blurry at times, but if you keep it still, the quality is absolutely phenomenal. 4K is like the highest you can go in at the minute in resolution. It's pretty good in 4K, which, you know, as you can see on here, it is really good quality. That's why I didn't move around too much with this one. Next one is 2.7K um, in 30 frames per second. Again, this is a bit not as good quality but still flipping amazing quality like on youtube then it goes to 1080p but it's in 30 frames per second and also the slow-mo shots as you can see when it slows down that's in slow-mo so that's pretty good too when you see that like now the next one is in 720p 120 frames per second this is probably my favorite one and probably the one i would recommend to you if you're going to be doing loads of action because 120 frames per second is flipping phenomenal you can see on here 720p yes it might not be the best quality but that's still hd so if you you know you want to do action and all that you still know what's going on you can still see things clearly and i'm taking to the limits you can see it running around crazy trying to get the best out of it and i only showed you the like the top quality of each resolution like 1080p, 2K, 4K, and 720p because there was no point going the lower frames. But and you can see here in slow motion, it is picking up every single frame. And especially when you point to the software, it works like a tree with this. So thanks for listening, guys. I'll get you back to the video. So guys, I'm back from a trip out from the woods. I'm back. Looked at the GoPro and all that when I was at, and obviously you've seen it. I quickly listen here, but the speaker's not very loud. So if you, when you're playing back videos, yes, you can see what's happening, but the audio isn't quite the clearest because it's a really small speaker. But obviously when I put it into the laptop, editing all that, you should be able to hear the audio. 
but it's all about the camera quality and picking up for action shots and all that that was designed for obviously i was vlogging a bit on it while i was just showing you different you know formats and all that what the camera can do hopefully you've enjoyed this video guys and i just want to sum up saying i really do think it's a great camera and like i said here i voted it at 8 out of 10 i do think it's up there with the gopros and all that i think it's a really good camera and it's only 60 quid guys yes you might have some of the swag but it's a quality camera that i do think you should get i really do i love i, I love it i really do love it and i'm going to be using a lot more videos and if you want to see this in more videos stay tuned press the red button and become a simpleton because there's more videos like this coming also if you do like me doing these reviews it's like one of my first proper reviews i did do a few others but like this is one of my main reviews i've done first time really i would say if you do like what i've done write in the comments saying oh i like it blah 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 you know what to do if you do want me to do more of these reviews tell me what to review so far and that i can do that for you guys it's a little bit more serious than other ones use them a bit more <laughs> bit silly on other ones like the challenges stuff like that but yeah it's a review for you guys today if you have enjoyed it big thumbs up you know the more support i get the more i know you like these videos you know that's a bit sad if you can do that but yeah like i said this is great camera and i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next video and peace out roll the outro give me some love peace why don't you give me your love